Hey folks, it is day 13 and we are in Seville, Spain still for another two days. Um, I switched hostels last night and uh, today I actually don't have any plans. Um, not really. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me how do I go about, you know, meeting people and making friends when I continuously switch locations and I don't know anyone starting off. And so I'll tell you my plan of attack for today. So right now I know no one in my hostel. I haven't really met many people. Uh, I did talk to the, the girl and the guy in my room last night, uh, but haven't really made plans with them or anything. So today I'm gonna jump on the walking tour, which is happening at 11 a.m. It's hosted by the hostel. I know that another hostel will join us as well, um, but this is a great opportunity because you know that as you're walking along the city, um, people are going to talk and people are going to engage with you and it's a great opportunity to meet people Learn a bit about them people talk about you know their name where they're from all of that And then by the end of the tour, it's two hours long You usually will have met someone that you can probably hang out with for the day um, So that's gonna be my plan for today. So I'll let you know if that works. I've been very lucky so far I've always met a couple people um, from the hostel that I've spent like the entire day with from like the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. Um, so we're gonna see if that works today and yeah. This new hostel that I'm staying at, La Banda, is uh, quite nice. It's a very nice hostel. Uh, the room that I have is like it has an ensuite as well as a co-working space so it was a bit more expensive but it's the end of the month so I do have some work to get done so I figured that'd be a great option for me. Um, one thing that's different about ensuites and like a shared communal washroom is that with an ensuite if you have four people in your room when someone else is using that washroom um, you are unable to use that washroom. So in the mornings, it's quite difficult because some people have to leave. Some people take a half hour in the shower and getting ready in the morning. So if you really have something to do urgently, sometimes you might get yourself stuck a little bit because there's someone else using the washroom. So kind of ran into that a little bit this morning, but luckily I didn't have anything planned. So it wasn't a big deal. But that is one thing that I thought about, you know, having an ensuite is nice, but it does come with its uh, struggles as well when other people are using it. Uh, especially the rush hour in the morning. So I would love to be able to tell you guys where I'm going next, but I actually have no idea. I um, was struggling with it a bit last night because I am counting down my days in Europe before I head over to Southeast Asia and starting in Thailand. So I'm probably headed over there around June 6th, June 7th. Um, probably, I know it has to be before June 8th, that's when I'm meeting my friend Hillary over there. Um, so I don't have a lot of days left here in Europe, and uh, I like to stay a minimum of like three nights in a spot because I found any less than that, it's just too much moving around and it gets really exhausting. Um, so that means I think I only have one more spot before Barcelona, that's where I plan to fly from um, to go to, or flying from to go to to fly into Bangkok. So I'm trying to figure out the spot in between that. I was thinking Malaga, but Malaga is very close to here. It's not far away at all. So it's probably a bit, a bit too close because then the travel to Barcelona would be a far way away. Then I was thinking Valencia. Valencia did not have a lot of accommodation space. Um, so I didn't really like the options that were there. So who knows, I might end up in Madrid yet. Um, I didn't plan on going to Madrid, but lots of people have said, you know, if you go to Spain, you have to go to Madrid. It's just, you know, just expected. So I might head over there. I have been told to spend a lot of time in Barcelona. Like I will want a nice few days there. Apparently there's so much to do and there's a lot of people. Um, so trying to arrange to have like at least four days there. So my plan tonight will be to jump on my phone and try to figure out where I'm going next and as well get my tickets booked my flights booked to Southeast Asia so the reason I didn't book that originally is because I didn't know what was going to happen in Portugal I didn't know if you know I was going to meet someone head a different direction or if I was going to keep going up the coast of 
uh, Spain. Anyways, I ended up going to Coast of Spain, so it looks like I'm still gonna be leaving Barcelona. To me, the dance is like, I'm not, I'm trying to dance it. Yeah. They also speak 